All right, you guys, so this is going to be the winner for the Moon's Harvest Stars and Stripes Bath Bomb, and the winner is Daymon Bellator. Okay, so go ahead and email me your mailing address at oldmomnutrix at gmail.com, and I will get your bath bomb out to you as soon as possible. Congratulations. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I haven't said welcome to all you new guys who have just now subscribed and I have actually had um, just, you know, one or two or three people subscribe to me lately and I've been really appreciative of that so I wanted to go ahead and say welcome because I haven't done that for a while and of course, um, hey again to all you guys who have been around for a while. But, um, so what I've got today is I've got a couple of unboxings, and um, <clears throat> these are mostly wax. And so I was thinking, okay, well, I don't know how exciting that's going to be because there's really nothing much to see, and of course you can't smell it. But what I did want to do is just kind of introduce these companies to you guys because they're both new companies to me. And um, I don't know, I think they're going to be pretty exciting. And um, so, let, I don't know, let's just go ahead and jump on into the products. And then um, maybe you guys can tell me what you think. And um, I don't know, I'm excited to see what's in here. Um, this one right here, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, my husband <laughs> accidentally opened this um, when he brought it in from the mailbox. So I did go ahead and peek in it. Um, this was absolutely adorable this is from the little olive tree and it wasn't a big order but i just thought it was absolutely adorable it had little candies in it um look so cute i've seen a lot of other people get candy in their orders i don't think i ever have but that's adorable um okay so this is obviously the invoice um, what this is missing that it had in it, I could not wait to use, and I have actually used. The sample that they gave me was a little sample of a sugar scrub, and it smelled so amazing that I had to go ahead and use it. And I will tell you that I have already ordered a full-size sugar scrub in that scent because I loved it so, so much. It was Oh, loved it. So let me go ahead and get out the scent of that sample of that sugar scrub was this wax scent and it's called Illegally Blonde 2 and the scent profile for this one is it's Lush Blonde Moment and I've never had that but it's said to be iced champagne, raspberries, strawberries and also grape candy and bubble gum and that is what that scrub was, the little sample. And uh, it sounds really, really sweet, and it really kind of is. And what I smelled the most in there was was the grape. Um, and I've seen some grape scents before. And I guess wax, maybe, and maybe a little scrub. Not really in bath bombs, but it's never really something that I thought would appeal to me. But when, even before, oh, I smell it now. I just smell it now. Even really before I totally opened this box, I smelled that scent and it just, it was wonderful. It just, oh, so good. So anyway, that is that scent. And I ordered two more waxes with the scrub as well. So um, let's go ahead and start sitting these out to the side. Okay, so next we have, and I got two of these. This is the Serendipitous. And that's what this looks like. And they're all, I, I don't know, they might all be sparkly, but it's really pretty. And this one is, it says a serendipity scent. So I think that may be a scent all on its own as well, which is sweet vanilla and sugary cherry with coconut. And that is also in with lime and strawberry jam. That's not as sweet as this one. It's just, it's just sweet and fruity. It, it's hard. It's going to be hard for me to describe wax. And I know that wax is something that you're really not going to pick up all the scents until you melt it. But um, I got two of those. And this is just kind of mainly to give you some ideas of the scents that these companies have. This is called Blueberry Yum Yum. Yeah, it looks like all these are going to have some sparkles on them. 
Okay, here we go. Let me just read off of here. Okay, blueberry cheesecake with ice cream and topped with crushed vanilla wafers. Now that sounds pretty good. Oh, that smells really, really good. Yeah, it does. It smells like blueberries with ice cream. These are really realistic, realistic um, scents in here. I, they're, just, they're really spot on and they're really strong. So I'm interested to see if they give off um, a heated throw as well as they do a cold. Just the cold scent. Now this is Donut Worry Be Happy. And I'm really excited about this one because this is a huckleberry scent. Huckleberry Jelly Donut. It's got a few little dips in the top. Now I'm not real familiar with the huckleberry scent, but it's really, really good. It's not a blueberry. It's not like blueberry, but it's it, to me it's like a cousin of the blueberry. But that one smells really, really good to me. Okay, and another little sample in here it looks like. Okay, so this is the black raspberry vanilla and toasted marshmallow sample. It's always nice to get little samples. It's just a little heart. I definitely smell the the black raspberry in there and the vanilla. It doesn't seem quite as strong as these to me, but like I said, it's hard to tell until you melt it. Okay, so that's what we have here. And so I'm really pleased so far with the scrub, I know, because I did use it that first night and I thought it was wonderful. Okay, so moving on. Okay, so I'm gonna move this back here a little bit. Now, this one I'm really excited about too, and just one other thing about the little olive tree. Um, I just, I found them on Instagram, and I just went over to the website, and I just was able to order all this stuff with no problem, and I think that this is the end of their summer line. So I'm not sure that there is a lot left, but um, I just was able to like straight up order off the website with no problem. This is the Zape Company, and it is spelled Z-E-E-P, and a lot of you may be familiar with it. I have never ordered from them before, but um, this is another one that is like the Candy Panda where it's the Hunger Games type of scenario where they preview all their items and they tell you what is going to be offered and they shut down the site for maintenance for a couple hours and then once the site goes live, it's kind of like a feeding frenzy and whatever you're able to get, you're able to get and they sell out really, really quickly. So um, I was able to get a few things, quite a few things, and I was really excited about that because I think um, several of these look really, really, really good. And that's the box, what it looks like. This looks really nice. And this was shipped very quickly too because um, just like Candy Panda, these are um, ready to ship items. And I like that personally, you know, I would rather, I'm finding that I would rather do the Hunger Games thing than have to wait for my product. And I know a lot of people may not be like that, but I have found that I'm preferring that. Because I, I don't know, I'm a planner. Maybe that's a type A personality kind of thing. But um, those are really cute cards. Really, really cute. Very cute, very, very cute. And this is the owner of the company. And so this is how you pronounce it. Looks like Zeep, it's pronounced Zape. And I think that that is Dutch from what I read on the website, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that that's the story. You can go and read uh, the backstory behind this company on the website, because I don't want to tell you guys wrong. But anyway, that's really, really pretty little confetti wormy type things. Okay, really pretty colors. Okay, let's just get into this. Ooh, that's a lot of it. Okay. And this box is really, really fragrant. Just um, opening it with the scissors. It smelled really fragrant. Okay, just so just a quick look at the top. Okay, I'm going to try to move it back some. Okay. All right, so... Okay, good. This has some scents on it. Okay. Wow, these are big. I didn't know what to expect. Okay, so this is the Black Swan, and 
Um, I think these, I don't want to, let's see, I don't want to tell you wrong. Let me check and see if there's any voices in here. These, okay, let me just, if, just from memory, these might be like five or six dollars, but you get two of them and they're, they're very big. So it's just, you, the pricing's a little bit different than on these. I think these were like a dollar sixty-five. And these aren't, I don't know if they're quite as big as these, but they're just priced a little differently. And these, of course, were singles. Okay, so this is Black Swan, and this is Blackberry, Raspberry, Strawberry, Pear, and Vanilla. And I just thought that was a really interesting combination. Let's see if I can get into it without having to use the scissors. Very, very pretty. I don't see that it has any sparkle on it, but it's really shiny. It's not super, super berryish or fruity like I thought it might be. It's very, it, to me, it's like a very Bath and Body Works type scent. Hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. And that's why I'm just going to really enjoy trying all these companies because wax is a new thing to me, but I'm really, really excited about it. Kind of like when I just started getting into the scrubs. It's not good to have all these new obsessions and addictions, but it's fun. <laughs> okay, so the next one is the helium. And the helium is Fruity Pebbles, Fizzy Pop, and Cotton Candy. Look how cool those look. Those are like big chunks. They look like soap. And these do have some sparkles on them. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to sniff. I do smell, I do smell, it does smell citrusy. So I do get, I do get the, maybe the fizzy pop if that's like a Sprite or a 7-Up and the Fruity Pebbles. So I do get maybe the lemon lime and the fizzy. It's not, I don't really get much, much of the sweet in here, but this is an interesting one too. Okay, so this is the Shotgun Betty, and this one sounded really, really good to me. This one is Blood Orange Fresh Berries Iced Champagne. Okay, and it says shells on here, but on my description, I have over here, it says Blood Orange Cranberry Raspberry and Bubbly. So this one, I'm not sure what shells is, but it says champagne, I mean cranberry in my description, so... Let's see. Ooh, look at all that. Well, this smells really good. Mm, it's, ooh. And maybe that's the blood orange in there with the berries. It's very interesting. Very interesting. I've just become a big fan of the blood orange. I just had a blood orange bath bomb, and I just I loved that scent. It was wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so the next one is the fruit cake. How big that is? That's a huge piece of wax right there. It's gonna that's gonna take forever for me to melt. And so I've got two regular size, I guess you call them regular full size wax warmers. I just got um, those. And then I've got one little one that I plug into my bathroom, um, my bathroom wall with the little light bulb. Ooh, this one is sweet. Oh, that's so pretty. Mmm. Okay. So, this one is birthday cake, toasted marshmallow, and fruity pebbles. I think I, ta I taste. I smell the birthday cake and a little of the fruity pebbles. Maybe a little of the marshmallow. I think I maybe smell all of those in there. I think that's going to be really nice. This one is called American Pie. It's a big cube-like chunk. And this one is Macintosh apples, blueberry vanilla ice cream, and whipped cream. I 
have a scrub that is similar to this since. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smell, I definitely smell the apples mostly. And they do, they smell like fresh, fresh apples. That's, mm, that's weird. It smells so f like fresh apples. I don't really pick up a lot else, but that's what this one smells like to me. Maybe even that, almost maybe even smells like a little bit of a pear to me. As pear to me is a little lighter scent than apple, but it's in the same family. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely huge. This this is the size of a really big bath bomb. This is called Tilt-A-Whirl, and this one is funnel cake, sweet strawberries, sweet strawberry topping, whipped cream, and yeah, I think just in topped with whipped cream. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it definitely has that carnival type scent. It says funnel cake. I, in the carnival family, anytime I've gotten anything like this, I smell like a caramelly type scent. Um, anytime it has like a waffle cone, um, funnel cake, anytime, anytime it's a carnival scent, that's kind of the scent that I pick up. But it's good. But I don't, I don't, I don't pick up a lot of berry. But that is absolutely huge, and I just, I love the way these look. These are, these are really, these are really fun. Okay, so the only scrub I got from this company, and their scrubs looked really, really cool. This is the Shotgun Betty, which is this wax, and so again, that scent is the blood orange, the berries, the, the cranberry, and the ice champagne. So let's take a look at this. You know, because I'm really into the scrubs. Hang on a second. I have a bad wrist right now, so. <laughs> I may have to put you guys on hold for a second. Hang on. Whew. Okay, so that took me a second, but I got the lid off the Shotgun Betty Sugar Scrub. Well, I got it loose anyway. I didn't really get it off, did I? Okay, these are sealed nicely. So, I guess if you're de-stashing one of these, you'll know if it's been opened. Wow, that's full. Very, very full. It smells really good. I don't want to... I really want to stick my finger in it. No, I don't really like doing that, but accidentally got some on my hand, but you can kind of see the texture of it. But I'll do a demo with this, and um, we'll dip it out then and look at it. But it's obviously very shimmery, and it is 11 ounces. It smells really nice. So, there is that scrub. Okay, so I think that's a nice little haul, and I really don't know what else to say about the wax and just kind of introducing you to these companies, and you guys tell me if you've ordered from these companies and what you think about them. I will tell you just um, my first impression from these, um, these different companies, um, the little olive tree, these are much more fragrant out of the box. And they're a lot sweeter and to me they smell I would say more like the description I really would um these don't quite smell exactly like I thought they might but like I said I know that with wax that doesn't mean anything as far as doesn't mean necessarily as much as far as what they're gonna smell like as they're melted um, these are very very impressive when you get them out of the package and you see the size of these and the design they're really really cool so um i just i can't wait to melt some of this stuff and i can't wait to try that sugar scrub okay um so i wanted to talk to you guys just about a couple other things 
Um, okay, so my unboxing, my go back just several videos and talk about just really, really quick my unboxing for Visca Scents because I told you guys that I, um, I was going to give you an update on some of those products when I tried them. And I can't really go back and demonstrate um, the, the fizzy bath crumble. There's really nothing to see with that. There's with the wax, there's really nothing to see with that. Um, what else have I tried? With the loofah soap, I can't really demonstrate that. Those are three of the things that I have tried so far. And I can tell you guys that I absolutely love every single one of those products that I have tried. Now, I knew that I loved the loofah soaps, and I told you guys that because those are what, one of the main things I reordered for were the loofah soaps, and I got like five or six of them. Um, so, I'm real pleased with the scents that I ordered, and the soaps are just, they're consistent with what I ordered last time. Um, the bath crumble, I ordered the scent um, strawberry shaking, strawberry shaking soda. And I think that's like, it smells just like a strawberry cream soda. And it's an amazing scent. I absolutely love it. Um, and what else did I say? Okay, I got the Trail of Bread Crumbs Wax. And it's amazing. The throw is really, it's far, it's strong. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful scent. So um, it, it lasted longer and it was stronger than my Candy Panda Wax. So, um, I'm still on the fence as far as, and I told one of my subscribers, we were talking in the comments, um, I don't know that that still justifies the weight or, um, you know, maybe some experiences that some other people have had, but I do know that what I have heard about others and their, and when they do get their orders, they are really satisfied and I don't think I'm alone in that. So just a little additional information as far as that unboxing video goes. Um, also, my next um, give the, my giveaway situation, um, I did go ahead and just give away just a couple small things lately. Um, my last video, I gave away a single bath bomb. That's going to be the last thing I do for a while, and I'm doing that because what I think I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to do a Halloween giveaway, and I'm really excited about doing something like that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just... Um, really shop around and get some really cool, neat um, Halloween items, bath bombs, things like that, and kind of stockpile them to make a really, really nice Halloween giveaway for you guys. So, um, just so I can afford to do that for you guys, I want to just let you know maybe why I'm not going to be doing like small giveaways from now until I'm going to try to get that done um, and out for you guys at the beginning of October. So whoever is able to win that lot can enjoy it all throughout the month of October. So anyway, um, that's really all I think I have to tell you guys today and I appreciate you watching this whole entire video. I know that sometimes I can be long-winded, but um, yeah, I think that's it, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in a wax at all, um, let me know if you want to see any more wax unboxings or if they just don't interest you at all. If I'm just if I'm just wasting your time with this, then um, I just won't do any more wax because I understand that that might not be something that y'all are into. So anyway, just let me know, and um, I'll just see you guys back here next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.